Israel has become very much on the target list, uh, perhaps number one or number two on the target list of those proponents of intersectionality, which means you can only be a proponent of black rights in the United States if you are also a proponent of women's rights in the United States, if you are a proponent of LGBTQ rights in the United States. But here's the kicker. You can only be a card-carrying member of those three minority group uh, protest movements if you are also a, uh, a hater and an opponent of Zionism and of the Jewish state, um, the Jewish majority state of Israel. Uh, so <clears throat> this type of you are either with us or you are against us is a, is a very, I, I think, dramatic, drastic and dangerous development uh, for any minority group, uh, because what it leads to, Tamir, is <clears throat> what was known in Chicago in 2018 as the Dyke March, which was a march of um, of uh, lesbian women for women's rights. And what happened was there were some um, uh, gay women who also happened to be holding Israeli flags, and they were wholly, uh, you know, driven out of the parade. They were they because of intersectionality, meaning their their identity as gay women, proud women, marching for women's rights, became completely undermined and dismantled by the organizers of such a parade because they happened they dared to be Jewish women who supported the right of the Jewish people to self determination. 